Hi guys. Hey, look, our boat is still upside down. Look at this. Here's another kind of crazy dynamic that forces you to work your stabilizers in your abdomen, your abs themselves, your obliques, your hip flexors, your triceps, your chest muscles, your back muscles, your balance, your cognitive coordination. Cognitive coordination. Huge word. Look at this. Just holding your body like that. You can manipulate angles. Look at that. Super badass. And you can go down, hold, and then up. And that's hard because it's all, it wants to move. And if you really make this, fill it up a little more than this one is, because it's 11 degrees out, so I still have my cap on, uh, you know, uh, and so it won't blow up. Fill it up tighter so you don't keep losing air. And you can, you know, do some things like this which is really cool. You can do some push-up stuff like this. Once you get really good at it, you come down, you can rest, okay? You can stretch your hips, and then you can push up and bring it off the ground like a hand clap. It absorbs the shock of your shoulders and your joints, so you're not hurting anything, your wrists, your elbows, anything like that. It also makes it fun to do push-ups, you know? The other thing is, is you can turn it over, and now we have a whole new set of things we can do with this deal. Um, first and foremost, you can stand on it, but our camera shot's not set up for that because we have one camera, <laughs> zero budget, and it's 11 degrees out. I don't know if I've mentioned this. What you can do though, watch the difference in the dynamic from upside down to right side up. Oh man, that's tough. And then you press in. The give and take here creates, again, more instability for you to have to deal with. Your body has to arise to the, to the conditions that are presented to it. So, you know, a simple tool can just change the whole outcome of your workout. And in the next blog, we'll discuss that a little more.